like to take a few minutes here just to tell you some dangers of this Christ is King movement. The controversy between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro where they had an argument. She got fired and she said, well, Christ is King. And so now people are running with that whole thing. Christ is King, Christ is King. It's some anti-Jewish thing that you can say now or something else. It's kind of ridiculous because Jesus Christ was a Jew. He came to his own and his own received him not. All right, the Bible says, and Jesus said, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, he was of the house and lineage of David. All right, uh, again, you have to understand the whole thing of the Jeconiah being cut off and you know, it has to be a supernatural man that comes down, adopted son and the bloodlines and things there. I covered that in one of my studies, the amazing prophecy that Jesus Christ fulfilled when he came to the earth. All right, so um, Jesus Christ, saying Christ is king is not anti-Semitic. But saying Christ is king, you have no scripture that says Christ is king in the King James Bible. Not one verse of scripture says that. Uh, and that's where there's a little bit of a danger here because the Catholics, when they say Christ is king, they have a different interpretation than what we have. See, you study the New Testament, you understand that Jesus Christ, he says about, you know, Pilate's arguing with him and he says, are you a king? And Jesus says, you know, um, my kingdom is not from hence. It's not here right now, but it will be in the future, is basically what he's saying. The premillennial coming of Jesus Christ, he's going to set up his kingdom on the earth. The Catholics, however, believe that no, Christ has come and that he has set up his church. And he says to Peter, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and hell. And then Peter sits on the throne as king. That's why, and then all the succession of popes down from there, they all wear crowns on their head. They are the crown and conquering king. So when you say Christ is king as a Catholic, it means the Pope is reigning in Christ's stead. He is the vicar of Christ, vicarious Philly D, faithful substitute son of God, essentially. Again, you can get into the more accurate translation of that, but that's what they teach. That's Roman Catholic doctrine. So when you have these papists coming out now and they're, they're just, Christ is king, Christ is king. What they're really saying is, the, that Rome, the Vatican, has the right to rule over the world. Jesus isn't coming someday in terms of, you know, to set up a millennial kingdom and wipe out Rome and these, you know, papal Juden. No, no, we have the kingdom right now. We want the kingdom right now, is what they're actually saying. It's not future, it's here now. That's the danger of it. So I just wanted to make a quick video uh, because it, this thing's moving so quickly, it's hard for me to sit down and actually write out the notes and really do a good thorough study because, you know, you have to really concentrate, pray about it. Okay, what sermon, what notes do you want me to put in this thing, Lord, and, and whatever? And it's just moving so quickly. It's just crazy. Um, you know, things are definitely speeding up. There's no question about that. Uh, so, but that's going to be a future upcoming study. And so you can look forward to that. Um, we'll be going through the scriptures of showing this thing. And of course, you know, think about something else too. Um, Christ is king, okay? The Bible says the Lord and his Christ. Uh, there are two Christs, Jesus Christ and the Antichrist. So when you say Christ is king, it could be either one. Hmm, something else. Oh, the Jews, the Jews, they, they have the red heifers now and they can get ready to sacrifice. Oh, sacrifice in the temple? You know, the one that the Antichrist is going to rule and reign from? The Antichrist that they're actually looking forward to meeting? The, the, the Jews right now in Israel, unless they're saved, unless they're born again, um, they're not looking for Jesus Christ. They're looking for the Antichrist. That's what they're, they're there for. Their whole flag is the Masonic square and compass, the hexagram. Let's put a hex on somebody. It's a satanic star, the star of their god Remphan and Chiun and, and Moloch. It's a satanic system. Again, it's not the time of Jacob's trouble, meaning the Jews are being persecuted. No, it's because God is going to punish the whole world because of what the Jews have done. And you study what they've done and it's just, it's horrifying the stuff that these people have done. It's just terrible. So um, there's a lot to say on this study coming up and I'm, I really, I need to do a very thorough job on this. And so it's gonna take a little bit of time, but I just wanted to get this one Done real quick, just a real quick little walk and talk. Not walking a whole lot right now because we still have a lot of snow on the ground. It's actually warm again. It's you know in the 40s, mid 40s Fahrenheit. Um, but it's a little hard to walk. I was a little bit out of breath when I came in here.
but I'm just standing in here, in here underneath the fir trees, the green fir trees, if you know the Bible reference to that. And, um, but, so I'm not going to be doing much walking. I just wanted to say this very quickly here. My battery's almost dead too, so. <laughs> but, uh, just uh, be careful, brethren. Um, again, we can rejoice. Charity rejoices in the truth. Christ is king. Well, there, Jesus Christ is king of kings and lord of lords. That is true. Yes, absolutely. But we have to be careful that we don't go into too much of this stuff and say, oh, I agree with everybody that says Christ is king. Be careful. Be very careful. Uh, there's some very wicked people out there that are saying Christ is king. And uh, they have a different meaning than we do. So, yeah, great. Praise the Lord to hear the name of Jesus Christ out there. Some people are saying, going to say Jesus Christ. Good. Praise the Lord. Use it as an opportunity to witness to people. Use it as an opportunity to get them into the scriptures and say, let me show you what the King James Bible teaches. Oh, you got one of those Trump King James Bibles, the ones that he was promoting? Well, good. Let's, let's go through the Bible together. Let's you know, bring it into work and let's sit down and go through the scriptures and I can show you some things. See? Use those things as as ways to witness to people. Don't be deceived into thinking the world's getting better because it's not. All right, I wasn't trying to say that the other day with the whole thing of Trump selling the King James Bibles. But use every opportunity, opportunity that you can. Look for open doors that the Lord has for us that we can say, okay, praise the Lord. This is out there and, and whatever else. All right? Um, people are open. They want to hear about some things. Uh, that's our job. That's why we're here yet. Okay? So that will be it. Uh, please do pray for us. Um, pray that the Lord helps me to get the study done because it's a big one. And, uh, but I guess that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching. See you in upcoming videos.